Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 1st. Happy New Year. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and the new year starting out with a bit of a bang. Let's take a look at radar first thing this morning. This is just after 6 a.m., and you can see where the strongest thunderstorms are, uh, stretching from about Birmingham down to the southwest. And uh, at last count, I think all the severe thunderstorm warnings had ended, uh, flash flood warnings still in effect, as well as a tornado watch in effect until 10 a.m. for a good portion of central Alabama, parts of southwest Alabama, parts of Mississippi, uh, southeastern Mississippi, and southeastern Louisiana. I'm sure that that will be changing with time. And just quickly, here is a look at the storm reports for the last 24 hours from the Storm Prediction Center, a number of tornadoes. And I did note that uh, there were, according to SPC site, I believe there were three fatalities, although I saw a report on another tornado where there may have been three additional fatalities, so I think there may have been six fatalities as we ended the year yesterday uh, with a, a, quite a um, flurry of severe weather events going on across the central part of the United States as well as the southeastern U.S. The cold front is moving into Alabama this morning, and of course ahead of that is the thunderstorms going on. The cold air much further back, so it's not going to be affecting us as far as any winter weather. Uh, you can see that the closed low has moved up to the western Great Lakes pretty much as uh, we thought it would, and the trough will be coming through our area. In the meantime, of course, a lot of warming going on, uh, moisture being drawn from the Gulf of Mexico northward as well as warmth. Look at that, up into the uh, central and eastern eastern Great Lakes area, temperatures into the 50s. Isn't that amazing? And remember, these are 6 a.m., uh, 5 a.m. temperatures. I'm sorry, these are 5 a.m. temperatures. Around central Alabama, these are pretty much the highs for the day, I think. A lot of uh, most locations around the lower 60s, a few into the upper 50s. But for the most part, this is probably will be our high for the uh, for the day. QPF-wise, uh, we're looking at on the order of uh, a widespread one to two inches, and it looks like, especially down across uh, portions of southeastern Mississippi and southwest Alabama, we may be seeing as much as three inches of rain. Storm Prediction Center still out looking for today, a slight risk area that extends from um, uh, covering about the northern, or pardon me, the southern half of the state of Alabama, as well as northwest Florida and a little section of Mississippi. I think the uh, major threat is going to be damaging uh, straight line wind with uh, strong to severe thunderstorms, but you can't rule out the isolated uh, tornado with uh, those events. All right, the 06Z GFS model run, I think the uh, GFS is just a tad. Uh, behind. This is for uh, 12, pardon me, this is for noon. And I think the GFS is just a little slow on this. I think the front will be just a little bit further along. At midnight, though, it looks like much of the precipitation has uh, left the state, although there's still a little bit going on in the southeast. And uh, the risk of severe weather has diminished substantially. The surface low is way up in Canada. And of course, uh, m much of the dynamics are way out there. Uh, ahead of the, the system. Uh, so it looks like the cold air, you can see the 540 line coming down into Arkansas and uh, northern Texas, but it looks like the cold air stays behind. Uh, the closed low is well up into Canada on uh, Sunday, the 2nd of January. A little short wave is moving through, but with surface high pressure, Looks like we're going to cool down just a little bit as the 540 line gets uh, dangerously close to the state. And uh, it stays just to our north on Monday as we head back to work, but it looks like Monday should be a dry day. In the upper atmosphere, we do go to more of a zonal slash southwesterly flow. Uh, and with that southwesterly flow, of course, we could see moisture coming in from the Pacific. So I would not be surprised to see some clouds on Tuesday. Uh, looks like much of the rain, if there is any, stays off to our uh, west and southwest along the Texas and Louisiana Gulf Coast. The zonal flow continues, but a short wave is coming through and just to the east of the Four Corners area coming through that flow. And so the result at the moment is that there's not a lot of moisture, but uh, there is moisture over the southeastern U.S., and I think we'll see isolated to perhaps scattered uh, rain chances in that area. Uh, the uh, 
Uh, trough develops on the eastern half of the country by Friday, and so that uh, brings in some more cold air, especially for the eastern uh, the northeastern section of the United States, uh, but the 540 line stays a little bit north of us. So I would call the temperatures for this week pretty much uh, seasonably uh, cool. We'll be looking at uh, temperatures that are probably pretty close to what we, you would expect in the first part of uh, January. By Saturday, uh, that closed low, or pardon me, the open trough actually over the southwestern United States begins to migrate our way, and it will bring a, a surface low along the Gulf Coast. And this is certainly going to be interesting because uh, the GFS is suggesting the low will be very far south, so the threat of precipitation will be along the Gulf Coast, but the cold air is just to the north. However, looking out into voodoo country, uh, that is a pretty substantial little trough right there around the 10th, so we'll be have to be watching that. We are in voodoo country. This is the 10th of January. Uh, we see another trough, a fairly deep trough, over the uh, central U.S. on the 13th, and that should uh, help us to stay relatively cool. And we stay pretty much in a trough over the eastern half of the country around the 16th, and so this suggests that we're going to stay uh, at, at or slightly below where we normally would be this time of year. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Uh, be safe with the storms that are going on out there this morning and keep them in mind if you have outdoor or uh, travel plans. I expect to have the next Weather Extreme video posted by 7.30 or 8 on Sunday morning. In the meantime, Happy New Year and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.